Okay, so this is a Sony QRX 5500, one of two that I have. So, like with all the other uh, 8 tracks, reel to reels, receivers, all four channel, and that, the other things that I have, I just, for posterity's sake, for reference or whatever, make a little video of them. And that's what this is. This is, uh, like I say, one of two 5500s. This is a two channel stereo AM now. Everything works. I got the filters off now. Nothing in the rear, so there's no sense even messing with that. Here, let me zero that out. Definitely hear the rumble on that stuff. I always, always run the low filters in the front because I got some uh, real butt kicking uh, uh, speakers. This is the rotation knob here. So basically, you can rotate, if it's in stereo, you can rotate it to the rear speakers to uh, a front and rear speaker on the left, front and rear speaker on the right, or just have it normal. Flip it back over here to FM stereo. Centering, all the lights work. This one is uh, not centered properly towards the front. So what you're getting is a backwash of light there and then the light behind there, like you see in these, it's not showing the lighting in the rear there. So that's the real only problem with that one. The light that is up there should be showing behind so that it's green like this. That's the only problem with this one. Deck up here. Let me switch to the uh, 8 channel, or 4 channel. It's kicking out too much, I'll set the level down. And I crank it up, and then the other thing I want to do, make sure it's in discreet. Now you can hear the difference. That's in synthesize a regular stereo mode, synthesized mode, but this is a CCR 8 channel, a 4 channel 8 track. Very rare, very hard to come by. And you can hear it come in the rear. Do the separation here, you can hear it. So basically you have the lead and the drums in the rear. That's the lead and drums. Here you go in the uh, front. You got rhythm and uh, bass in the front here. That's the difference between the 8-track tape. The record's pretty close to it, the discrete record. It is discrete after all, so it's pretty much the same. I have that too. We'll turn that bass down a little bit here. Okay, so let's do a pan here. Oh, we can't run this all the way through. We can't run songs all the way through, otherwise YouTube will flag it. So here, let's see if we can get this coming through. Another rare eight-track tape. This is the Archie. So they've got a little bit of separation, that's not too bad either.
So let's go through this thing here. Just kind of showing you the front, the face. That's my uh, one of my real trails. tracks on that. Scooby-Doo. Like I say, I can't run it on one song too long, otherwise YouTube will flag it. Two pairs of speakers on it if you want. You got your filters. Front and rear balance and then left and right for each. And you've probably seen better pictures of uh, the different modes you have, but I'll zoom in on that. That's the different modes you have there. Mic input. Well, let me switch these tapes again. A little music while we're watching this. It's Jackson Brown Quad 8 track, Lake for the Sky album. That is the Sensui QRX 5500. The reason I